dear friends in this video i will tell you about uh, how to make antibiotic beads without templates so to make a antibiotic beads we need a cement solvent cement powder one kidney tray or any bowl and one ss wire to hold our antibiotic beads so first we put our cement powder in bowl and then we prepare our ss wire that how much ss wire we need to put into a mold maybe uh, one piece two piece or three piece and we should take a wire in small pieces so we can put a ss wire into layers not in single space now we will mix a antibiotic antibiotic should be heat stable because process of cement mixing is exothermic reaction so antibiotic can be damaged during this procedure to mix cement evenly with antibiotic preferably mix half of the cement with antibiotic first then mix whole cement with antibiotic so your antibiotic evenly distributed in whole cement powder then mix your solvent to cement powder it will take around 7 to 8 minutes to set the cement during hot environment cement can set too early and in cold environment cement will take more time to set now we are mixing cement with solvent and uh, mixing is continue till the cement position looks like duffy state when cement is not going to stick on our gloves so it will take around 3 to 4 minutes uh, for duffy state of cement so when we reach about to duffy state of cement we check that cement is sticky to our gloves or not so we have to wait till the cement is not stick to our gloves so this is the duffy state of cement and cement is of non sticky to our gloves now we are ready to prepare the antibiotic beads most important things during the antibiotic beads preparation is proper mixing of antibiotic in the cement evenly distributed antibiotic in the cement and size of beads the size of beads should be small not very large because release of antibiotic is depends on surface area of the beads so if you prepare large size of bead the surface area decrease so release of antibiotic is not appropriate so size of bead should be appropriate or small or medium size not the large size now we fixing our beads to the ss wire we should remain cautious during fixing the beads to the ss wire that our beads should be in appropriate distance from other beads so the surface area remain very large and the release of antibiotic will not hamper now we prepared one ss wire and according to the size of wound we will make one or two or three ss wire loaded with antibiotic beads again i am forcing the fact that the size of beads should be small if you see there is single large size antibiotic beads 
or if we made five beads or six beads from that large size beads we have large surface area to release antibiotics from the small size beads than the single large size beads so now we need sir one more ss wire piece to fix the all antibiotic beads so now we are ready with the antibiotic beads to implanted into a infected wound or the chronic osteomyelitis site or any infected implant site one more important step in these antibiotic beads is counting of beads we should count each and every beads so when we remove the antibiotic beads we should not leave any beads inside the wound so this is the simple and effective way to make the antibiotic beads without any templates thank you for watching this video